So recently Erica made a false accusation towards me claiming that I was trying to peep at her child. Um, I'm going to address it in a short video today because this is like a really important matter that I wanted to address. The reason why the video actually came out late to begin with, the first video addressing Erica and Damien Cryer, is because my hard drive got screwed up. I was able to save that video. I had more videos that were going to come up, but my hard drive is screwed and I'm trying to get it repaired and all fixed and get my data from there so I can show you the rest and debunk everything. But unfortunately, I can't do that. So I need to address the main important thing, which is this. So Erica basically stated, she says, was trying to peep at my newborn while I was changing his diaper in the back seat. I felt very uncomfortable. That's disgusting behavior. And I cut him off. Stay tuned for more. So basically, this is not true. I did not try. I did not look at her newborn child while she was changing the baby's diaper as she states in her comment. In fact, I don't even remember any situation when she was changing a baby. Let me repeat. I don't remember any situation when she was changing her baby. What I do remember is going to, I think it was Walgreens. It looks like another version of CVS. And I think on the way there, her son said that the baby smelled and she said that she already changed the diaper. Like, oh, I already changed the diaper. And I went into Walgreens to book my appointment and I was told that I had to go online to book an appointment. So I was in Walgreens for a while trying to book this appointment. Now, let's say the situation did happen and she did change the baby while I was in there. Clearly, I wasn't paying attention to your baby getting changed if I don't remember. Not only that, if that was the case and you felt so uncomfortable, why did you bring me all the way back to your Airbnb to and help you take your things from your car into your Airbnb? And I was in your Airbnb for a little while and I had to leave because I had a podcast. So why did you let me hang out with you and your kids if you felt you were so uncomfortable? Not only that, you reached out to me a couple of days or a week later. If you felt so uncomfortable and you felt that I was peeping your child, why would you contact me? later if someone is peeping my child or doing some creepy shit or inappropriate shit looking at my kids some type of way i would never ever try to contact that person back bring that person back in my airbnb i will find everything that i can to my ability to my ability to get out of that situation She's someone who used to be a police officer, so you think she would know how to get out of that situation, because I know I would. You know, first of all, if I was in that situation, oh, Martin's peeping on my kid. I don't know if he had a gun or a knife, so I'm gonna try to make some excuse to get out of this situation so I don't have to see him. I wouldn't bring him to my Airbnb where I'm staying and help me take things into the Airbnb and stay in there for a little while. I would never that so in my head I'm thinking either Erica is lying and she's doing this to really try to cause damage to my reputation and the other part of me is like she's stupid or she thought that I really was trying when I wasn't because if you were changing your baby in the back seat of the car and I just happened to turn that way it would have been to talk to you but again I don't ever remember any situation where she was changing her baby in her car if anything, it could have been a possibility that she was changing the baby when I was in Walgreens because, again, I don't remember. Anyway, guys, that's all I, what I wanted to address, the main, you know, bullshit in that whole situation. Everything else can come later, but this is very important and it's really disgusting to throw out that accusation towards someone because that can put me in danger, that can put my life at risk. You just don't do that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate it. And I'm just so grateful to have you guys here having my back. Like it means the world to me. And yeah, I just really F with you guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in another video, hopefully uploading today.